Good morning my dear students and welcome to Zenit Tutorials once again. In today's video lesson, we will be talking about construction of similar triangles. Now, before we go ahead with the construction, first let me explain you what are similar triangles. So, similar triangles are those triangles whose corresponding angles are equal. For example, here if this is ABC and this is PQR, okay, here angle A is equal to angle P. Angle B is equal to angle Q and angle C is equal to angle R. So, corresponding angles are equal. Also, the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. They need not be equal. If they are equal, they will become congruent triangles. So, here if this side AB is 2 cm, then this side PQ is 4 cm. Can you see 2 and 4? So, it is twice. Okay. Now, this side is 1.5 cm. This side is 3 cm. Again twice. This side is 3 cm. So, this is 6 cm. So, all the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So, these are similar triangles. Now, children, you are asked okay, to construct a triangle similar to the given triangle as per the given scale factor. Or if scale factor is not given to you, they can ask you to construct a triangle similar to a given triangle satisfying the condition of the given ratio of the corresponding sides. So, they will give you the ratio of the corresponding sides. Now, what do you mean by scale factor and the ratio? Now, many children make mistakes here and they lose their all 3 or 4 marks. So, first let us understand the scale factor and the ratio in detail very carefully. Then we will go ahead with the construction. Now suppose the question is, read the question very carefully my dear children. Construct a triangle similar to a given triangle ABC with its side equal to 3 fourth of the corresponding sides of the triangle ABC. That is the scale factor is 3 fourth. Now what does it mean? It means that there is a given triangle ABC. Okay, this triangle is given A. B, C. Okay. And you have to construct a triangle similar to a given triangle ABC with its sides equal to 3 fourth of the corresponding sides of triangle ABC. Means the next triangle that you are going to draw should be 3 fourth of the sides of this. So the new triangle that is A dash, B dash, C dash that you are drawing has to be 3 fourth. Means it has to be a smaller triangle. Okay. That is why the scale factor is 3 upon 4. So, whenever a scale factor is given, okay, you have to compare the new one. So, new one is 3 fourth of the previous one. Right? Now, this question can be twisted like this. Construct any triangle ABC. So, you have constructed this triangle. Construct triangle A dash B C dash such that A, such that a B is to A dash B is equal to 4 is to 3. Now, these two questions are same. Okay, but at one place you are seeing 3 fourth, that is 3 upon 4 and one place you are seeing 4 upon 3. So, many children make this mistake. Read this question very carefully. This, this is old is to new. Okay, so new is this one and this is old. So, new is this. So, when you are comparing new is to old, Okay, it will become 3 upon 4 that is 3 fourth. So, they can confuse you here. Okay, so read this very carefully. Okay, this is AB is to A dash B. This is the new one and new is written at the back. So, you have to draw new is to old and find the scale factor. So, for finding the scale factor always write new is to old. So, here in question you might see 4, 4 is to 3 but actually you have to draw 3 fourth. I hope this is very clear. Clear. We will start doing the construction. And let's go ahead with the construction. So, here as the question suggests, okay, here B you can see is the common vertex, right? B and B. So, first we will construct the triangle ABC. Now, in your question, they might give you the specification of triangle ABC. That draw a triangle ABC with angle A is this, angle B is this or whatever the measurements. Okay. So, here simply we will draw any 
and triangle ABC. Okay, so if this is B, okay, I am simply drawing any triangle of my choice. Here I have drawn a triangle ABC. Now from B, I will take a ray, okay, making an acute angle. Okay, say ray BX. Now here I will take, see the scale factor is 3, 4, and here the ratio is 4 is to 3. So the bigger number I will take, okay, and will make 4 divisions on this ray. Okay. So, taking your compass, keep the pointer at B and make 1, 2, 3, 4 and name them as B1, B2, B3 and B4. Right? Our next, our next step would be joining B4 to C. Now, since our ratio is 3 fourth, so third one, we will take the third one, okay, and make a line parallel to B4C. Now, how to make a line parallel? We can't just make this line parallel like this, okay. So, so what we do, we make a particular angle, keeping our pointer at B4, we make an angle of particular radius, okay. With the same radius and center as B3, we will draw the same arc. Now, we will measure this. We will measure this angle. Okay. So, I open this and measure this. Now, keeping this point at the start of this arc, okay, I will cut. Okay. And then, I will join B3 and this point. So B3 and this point of intersection I join and I draw a line. So now B4C and this B3C dash are parallel. Why? Because these two are corresponding angles. So if corresponding angles are equal, these two lines are parallel. So now I have got point C dash. Okay. So I have B, I have got C dash, B and C dash. Now I have to find A dash. So, if now this line is divided into 3 fourth, this is 3 fourth of BC, right? This line BC dash is 3 fourth of BC. So, we have got 3 fourth of BC. Now, we want this line, okay? So, from C, I will draw a line parallel to AC. For this, again, we will follow the same method, keeping the pointer at C. I will draw an arc of a certain radius. Keeping the same radius and center as C dash, I will draw the same arc here. Okay. Now, I will measure this. Okay. I will measure this. Measure. Okay. Then keeping the center here. Okay. Keeping the center here, I will cut this arc. I hope you have understood. Now we will join C dash and this arc and make a parallel line. From C dash and this, I will draw a parallel line. And this line, wherever it touches AB, is your A dash. Now we have got a triangle A dash B C dash. This triangle. This triangle is similar to the triangle ABC and it is. 3 fourth of the triangle ABC. So the new triangle is smaller than the old triangle. See here you can see the new triangle is smaller than the old triangle. Okay. Now we shall take an example wherein the new similar triangle is bigger than the old triangle. Now children see I have changed the question. Construct a triangle similar to given triangle ABC with its sides equal to 5 third of the corresponding sides of the triangle ABC and the scale factor is 5 upon 3. 
you can see the denominator is small and numerator is big okay or you can write it in this way such that a b is to a dash b is 3 is to 5 so new that is this one is bigger new is bigger old is smaller okay so here how do you write this is new right so new is bigger small is older so the new one that we will make is bigger than this triangle ABC. So here we have drawn triangle ABC. Okay. We have to draw a triangle A dash B C dash which is 5 third of it. So let's start again from B. We will draw a ray. BX. And since the factor is 5 upon 3. Again, the bigger number we will select. Again, we will select the bigger number and make that many number of divisions here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? And we will name them as B1, B2, B3, B4, and B5. But now there is a change. Now we will take the smaller number. Okay. Smaller number of the ratio. And join it with C. So we will take B3. And join it with C. And we will extend this line BC. Because our new triangle will be a bigger one. So, we will extend this line BC. Okay. Now, we have to draw a line from B5 which is parallel to B3C. Okay. For that, we will draw corresponding angles again. We will draw an arc of a particular radius keeping B3 as the center. Then again keeping B5 as the center. We will draw the same arc. Now, we will measure this. We will measure this arc, okay. This way we will measure it. The same measurement we will put here. So, from here we will cut. Now we will join B5 and this arc. So, I have joined B5 and this arc. And I will name it as C dash. So, now B3C is parallel to B5C. Now similarly, I have to draw a line parallel to AC from C dash. Okay. So I will extend this line again. Because this parallel line will meet somewhere here. Again same thing corresponding angles from C. I will draw an arc of a certain radius. From C dash again I will draw the arc of the same radius. Then I will measure this. Okay, I will measure this. Okay. So whatever angle this is. Keeping this as center. Not C dash as center. Keeping this as center. I will make a cut. And then I will join this arc from C dash. And make it join at this extended line. So, this is our A dash. So, now we have got this triangle A dash, B, C dash. This one, this triangle, this big triangle. So, this triangle is bigger than the previous old triangle. This triangle. Okay. So, now we have got a new triangle A dash, B, C dash. Such that its scale factor is 5 upon 3. Also, you can see that AB is to A dash B. AB is to A dash B. This is small, this is big. Is 3 is to 5. I hope you have understood this very clearly. If not, please watch the video again and again because students get confused in scale factor and in this ratio because at times they give you scale factor and at times they give you the ratio. So whenever you are given a ratio, Please see to it that you first convert it into 
new to old so here also when you convert into new is to old it becomes 5 upon 3 so when it is 5 upon 3 you know it is 1 point something so it will be bigger than the old the new one will be bigger than the old one okay so accordingly when you get the scale factor you decide how you have to draw please do not forget to subscribe us and like us write in the comment box whether you like the video or you want some changes or you want videos on some particular subjects or topics we'll be very happy to help you all the best and do well